be your own producer, man. Recently, Pusha T did an interview with Joe Bun on the Joe Bun podcast, with, and um, he did some damage control. Yeah, he cleared up some things, or gave his version of some things. There's always three sides: the truth, one person's side, and the other person's side. So he gave his side. Drake gave his side on the shop. So who do you believe? That's the real question, right? And from what we got from Drake's interview from the shop with um with LeBron and um Maverick Carter, he was pointing the finger at Kanye West. Kanye West, the one that told Pusha T every everything about his child like it was Kanye it was Kanye and just deflected everything from Pusha T but now we get Pusha T side of the story and he tells us nothing to do with Ye it was actually 40 40 was pillow talking to a girl about the whole situation about being kind of bitter that he doesn't get the shine or the recognition yeah that's what Push said I don't know if 40 doesn't get a recognition he deserves I think everyone who gives a fuck about producers knows who 40 is 40 doesn't really do interviews Drake doesn't really do interviews so i'm not sure that's the part i'm not really sure about Ford would be saying yo i don't get recognition that i should get but if it is true like i don't know bro like i don't, I don't think drake can just kick 40 or the ovo since 40 been rocking with him for years now 40 is his producer and the guy who crafts all his albums so he can't just kick him out fucking ovo so i don't know drake might have to forgive and forget on that one yeah pretty much just makes it sound like without 40 like drake's sound is not what it is he puts that together i don't want to was it in one of those MTV like documentary series? It was during the time leading up to Thank Me Later. He sheds light on 40 having MLS. He sheds light. He's all like, yo, 40 sometimes falls on the floor. Like it just hits randomly. He has to pick him up. And he's like, yo, if I ever lose 40, he's all like, I'm done with this. You know, I'm nothing without 40. And according to Drake, the, the reason why he didn't reply to Pusha T was the 40 line. It wasn't the kid that's deadbeat and the mom lines. It was the 40 line where Push said tick, tick. Tick, that, that man, man is, is sick, 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 sick. That's the part that really put Drake over the line, which I think Push ain't need to say all that, in my opinion. That was too far, in my opinion. For I what mean, Drake said, Drake said, I'm gonna let it ring on you like Bridget and Williams. Come there. Like, I know Push pushing the narrative that, um, yo, you can't bring my wife into this, but come the fuck on. You risking debt on a nigga is told, is like. A nigga push you and death. you fucking he shot him. Death. What do you mean he didn't wish death? He didn't wish death, man. He didn't say you're about to die soon. He just he was just playing on words. That man is sick, sick, sick. Clock tick, tick, tick. He didn't wish exactly. Death upon if him. the clock is ticking, that means nigga gonna die soon. That's what the fuck you're saying. Nah, man. He didn't wish death upon him though. He was just playing on words. And I'm like, yo. And by the way, and Dre can't say nothing negative about push wife. And if that's if that's the if we just gonna fucking use that logic, wave or Drake actually didn't say anything about his wife at all. See, this is a completely different one. It was Hove and um when it was Hove and Nas, the baby and the condom and the car seat. That's kind of wild, bro. And and first of all, Jay Z apologized for that because he was too fucking far. <laughs> and them yeah, niggas had real and niggas had way way realer beef than what fucking Push and Nas said. Jay, what what Drake said in his diss track was mostly aimed at Kanye anyway. Push barely got in the bars. He's gonna say, yo, you fucking saw it through your window and scribbled it on your notepad. Like, that is, for someone to say that to you, then you say, your your dad is a deadbeat. Your mom's fucking lonely. Um, <laughs> your, your baby mom's a prostitute and your friend's gonna die soon. That is someone literally fucking pushing you. And you take it like and gun and shoot them. That's exactly how you say. You say you're nah. that a fucking deadbeat. You're a okay, deadbeat. Okay, that is that being a deadbeat. Lonely. I mean, keep it a buck. That's I what mean, Drake, that said. Drake says it that he never he he hasn't paid child support. So if you're not paying child support for a kid, I mean, yeah, and I think that part's cool. The mom parts, the mom parts fine. I don't think he crossing the line. Like you can diss someone's mom. Niggas diss people moms every day. But you can't. A nigga got a terminal disease. You gonna say tick tick tick? That man is sick sick sick. I got a double flow six six six. Come the fuck. Yo, Pusha T highlighted this in the interview too, or in the Joe Button interview slash talk. He said like, oh, no one told Drake anything when he was making fun of Cuddy about his mental illness. Mad people came out against Drake when he said that um um you were the man in the moon, or you just go through your faces phases, life of the angry and famous. Mad people had a problem with that line, and that is totally different by say when you when you say yo you gonna die, that's totally different than when you say yo your best friend who has terminal illness, that nigga gonna die. It's totally different. When you say when you're dissing a nigga and you say yo I'm gonna kill you, that's like that's like cool, that's like cool. But when you say yo I'm gonna kill your fucking best friend, yeah, that's he didn't say he was gonna kill him. 
Okay, but he definitely insinuating that he yo your friends gonna die soon. Man, tick tick tick. That nigga say yo your friends die slowly, bro. Come on, come the fuck on. Yo, your best friend die slow. He didn't say it like that. No, that's what that nigga said. Stop. No, no, no. And then like from the interview, like Pusha T, like I'm just keeping it hip hop. And I'm like, I respect that. Like fuck he's keeping it. Here. He's keeping it in bars. He's not having like freaking other people talk to him. Like yo, this could have get do- uh, this could have got uh, dirty. Like with Jay Prince. Jay Prince was on a whole press run. Like yo, you know this would have gone sideways. I'm like what? Like, why are you making it something that it's not? It's bars, bro. And then there was a tweet from Pusha T. This was in earlier the year. I'm looking at the tweet right now. It's May 31st. Pusha T tweets out, you got 100K floating around for info. Can no amount of money create skeletons that don't exist? Hashtag I'm upset. So what's wrong with a nigga putting out money for information? <laughs> if Pusha T get information from a chick that's fucking 40, how is that like better, better? So the the option to push it to get the information is Kanye told them, which is even fucking worse than the pillow talk shit. So they're both trash ass ways push it he's getting this information. So how is that like how is that worse than a hundred K? That's the same shit. Is it the same shit? No, a pushy tea, a chick totem, pillow talk. It's always a demise in people. It's, if you look like a whole, like, through history, not just in hip-hop, though, but, like, in gangs, isn't, like, the Hell's Angel, like, it was, didn't they, like, fall apart through, like, through girls? I have no idea. But um, Adam did let Eve eat the apple, so there you go see so it's only it's always that's <laughs> that's the demise right there or eve let adam eat an apple that is the actual way right so it's like now dre's going out out of his the 100k again not keeping a hip-hop bro like what are you doing drake that is very hip-hop get 100k and then they didn't even respect uh, drake to get back in the i remember an old rapper saying um if you go in a war make sure your fucking account your bank account's good so that's hip-hop also niggas always use their fucking money influence to influence beefs drake going on um on the lebron james what was it called the shop yes he was winning to me like he was winning in the public eye because he was like just bashing kanye and people hate kanye and he was putting the blame on kanye and i was like god damn it bro but then pusha t going on the joe bun podcast and just shedding light on all this that might be true, might not be true. I'm like, fucking shit. It's just a reminder, bro. Push it to you fucking one. Well, let us know in the comments who you think won. Was it King Push or was it Arby from the six? I'm in the hood with niggas on bottom. Me started 500 in my car to get shot.